I want to get your thoughts right now. Um, what is exactly happening between uh, NXP and Qualcomm? Because this, as I mentioned, really was not expected. Is this um, China throwing an olive branch to the United States? Well, that may be. I think the other thing is that this may well be in China's interest to allow this merger to go through, uh, to allow these two companies to uh, combine forces to, uh, to capture more market share in China and around the world. So I, I think it may well be a, simply a strategic uh, government decision in this case. Now, I understand that you say that tariffs are sorely needed. Uh, this uh, talking with you right now comes uh, very well after we just heard that uh, the White House is saying that they're pulling the trigger on $50 billion there. Uh, what do you think about that number? What do you think about the effect as well as any possible retaliation? Well, the, uh, I think the number is, is appropriate. I think uh, it's a down payment, if you will on uh, the, the costly impacts of China's uh, unfair trade in, in high tech, its theft of intellectual property, the effect of its state owned en enterprises, uh, which has given China an enormous surplus in, in high tech trade with the United States. We actually have a surplus in, in trade in those products with the rest of the world, but a huge deficit uh, with China. Uh, the tariffs themselves are going to have an infinitesimal effect <laughs> right. on the U.S. economy. Uh, it may be 12, 10 or $12 billion in a $20 trillion economy uh, that's less than uh, uh, one-tenth of one percent of GDP. It's just not going to be noticeable. Right. And okay. in fact, uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, and in fact, that's what uh, uh, Fed Chair Powell said today. Uh, in his remarks after the, uh, at the Fed meeting, he said uh, that we, they've seen absolutely no indication that these tariffs are having an impact on the economy. Robert, but that's if we don't see any kind of retaliation, right? If China does slap back with tariffs and products that target Trump states, <coughs> is there a case of rupturing at least the, the Trump base then and leading up to these midterms? Could, could that be in trouble as well? Well, the United States has tremendous leverage in these trade disputes uh, for two reasons. First, uh, we uh, import four times as much from China as we export to them. And uh, secondly, uh, China is much more dependent overall on exports to the U.S. and the rest of the world. Uh, so U.S. exports to China make up only seven-tenths of a percent of our GDP. That's total exports, uh, whereas China's exports to the United States are over four percent of its economy. Uh, so China is much, much more uh, uh, at risk. And this is always the case where you get a country that has a huge surplus. They have uh, much right. less leverage in a trade battle. 